I'm still trying to fathom what happened. I'm, I'm still trying to because it's someone from a, not even from this community that bought this violence here and I, it's, it's very hard to explain. It, it really is. Shock, not shock, because of the level of systemic racism that's in the city of Buffalo and the Buffalo Niagara uh, metropolitan area. So we were shocked, but then we weren't shocked. As a matter of fact, I live on this particular street on the other side of the expressway. When someone told me exactly what happened and I started finding the information on the manifesto, uh, actually today I just saw the video, which was disgusting. Um, you know, I had friends that worked there. I just saw the daughter of one of my friends that was working there and she said she was actually inside at the time and had to go hide. And it's just heartbreaking to know that the babies could have been affected by this as well. This morning I was very emotional thinking about yeah. this community and the people who I work with in my normal job that live in this community. It really affected me. And then also thinking about me as an African American woman and having African American children, you know, how this impacts us, you know, making us feel less safe. I think there's only so much that we can do here in Buffalo to combat a nation's problem and a nation's ailment. Um, and that's what these mass shootings are from these like young, disaffected and um, deranged people that are just trying to inflict as much harm as they can. Um, I don't see this happening with this frequency in other parts of the world.